Dear students, in this video we are studying harmonic sequence. If you didn't subscribe this channel till now, so subscribe it. Let's move further. Harmonic sequence is the reciprocal of the arithmetic sequence. But the sequen arithmetic sequence, if it is having zero term, then its harmonic sequence will not be possible. So it is must that the arithmetic sequence is having no zero term. For example, we are having this arithmetic sequence and this sequence is having no zero term. Its inner term or general term is 2n plus 1. This is arithmetic sequence and its general term is 2n plus 1. How? Because general term is found like an is equal to a1, that is first term, this one, and n minus 1 into d. And what is d? Because each time 2 is added. To get the next term so putting the values of a1 which is 3 and n minus 1 and then d what is d d is 2 so the answer will be 2n minus 2 and the answer will be 2n plus 1 so this is the general term so this is the general term of arithmetic sequence now its harmonic sequence will be so all these terms will be in the reciprocal form each term will be in the reciprocal form. 3 will be 1 over 3, 5 will be 1 over 5, and 7 will be 1 over 7, and 9 will be 1 over 9. So each term will be in the reciprocal form. And its general term will be 2n1 over 2n plus 1. What is the general term of arithmetic sequence? 2n plus 1. So it will be in the reciprocal form. So this is the general term of the harmonic sequence. As we know, the arithmetic sequence are represented as the first term is a1, the second term is a2, the third term is a3, and so on. And the general term is a n. So a n is 2n plus 1. In harmonic sequence, we are writing the first term is h1, the second term is h2, and the third term is h3, and h4, and h5. and the inner term is hn so in this way we are representing the terms of harmonic sequence and in arithmetic sequence this is the pattern a1 a2 a3 an and in harmonic sequence h1 h2 h3 and so on and then the general term is hn so the general term if compared with the general term of arithmetic sequence so look at this, this is the general term of harmonic sequence and this one is the general term of arithmetic sequence. So hn which is the general term of harmonic sequence will be equal to 1 over an and an is the general term of arithmetic sequence. So this is the general relation which are combining arithmetic sequence with the harmonic sequence. So the values of n 1, 2, 3 and so on. If we put these values one by one in these, so for n is equal to 1, h1 is equal to 1 over a1. So first is a1, if we are taking the reciprocal of a1, which is 1 over a1, this is basically h1, the first term of harmonic sequence. Now put n is equal to 2 in this, so h2, h2 is equal to 1 over, put n is equal to 2, so 1 over a2, and then put n is equal to 3 so h3 is equal to 1 over a3 so this is the relation and for the general term this thing hn is equal to 1 over a n generally arithmetic sequence is written as so this is first term a1 and then this is second term a1 plus d and this is third term a1 plus 2d this is fourth term a1 plus 3d and so on and this is the general term a1 plus n minus 1 into d so this one is first term, this one is the second term, and this one is the third term, and this one is the fourth term, and so on, and this one is the n term or general term. Now the harmonic sequence will be if we are taking a reciprocal of each term, that is for a1, 1 over a1, then a1 plus d, so 1 over a1 plus d, then a1 plus 2d, so a1 plus 2d is reciprocal 
and then a1 plus 3d so reciprocal of a1 plus 3d so this is the four term of harmonic sequence and next the general term is also uh, it is also written in the reciprocal form so this is the first term of harmonic sequence and this one is the second term of harmonic sequence and this one is the third term and this one is the fourth term and this one is the n term so n term of harmonic sequence hn is equal to 1 over a1 plus n minus 1 into d so this is the n term of harmonic sequence so a1 plus n minus 1 into d so this is the n term of arithmetic sequence and this is the n term of harmonic sequence so look at the denominator of this so this is basically a n so h n is equal to 1 over a n so the general term of arithmetic sequence if it is written in the reciprocal form then it is basically the general term of harmonic sequence so first term of harmonic sequence is first one over first term of arithmetic sequence second term of harmonic sequence is second one over second term of arithmetic sequence third term of harmonic sequence is third one over third term of arithmetic sequence and so on so in harmonic sequence the denominator terms are in arithmetic sequence let's suppose we are taking an example so this is n and this is an harmonic sequence so the harmonic sequence this is written so first term is can be written as this so 1 over 2 1 over 3 1 over 4 1 over 5 and so on so the denominators are if if written 1 2 3 and 4 and so on so this is basically arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression if we write the inner term of this so what will be the inner term a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d what is a1 a1 is this thing this is it is the first term and what is d 1 is added through to get the next term 1 is added with the first term to get the second term and then again 1 is added with the second term to get the third term so 1 is basically d so d is equal to 1 putting these values a1 is 1 plus n minus 1 into d. d is also 1. So we are getting the general term is a n is equal to n by this formula. So general term is equal to n of the arithmetic sequence. So what will be the general term of this harmonic sequence? h n. As we know h n is equal to 1 over a n. So this means h n is equal to 1 over what is a n a n is n so this is the general term of harmonic sequence so we can find any term of this sequence now for example we are finding the tenth term so tenth term will be put n is equal to 10 so h 10 is equal to 1 over Next example is find the ninth term of this harmonic sequence. So harmonic sequence or uh, harmonic progression is 1 over 2, 1 over 5, 1 over 8 and so on. First of all we will find the general term of this harmonic sequence and then we will find the n term. So what is the corresponding arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression? So 2, comma 5 comma 8 and so on this is arithmetic progression in which the first term is 2 and what is the common difference so subtract first term from second term and then second term from the third term and we are getting 3 so this means d is equal to 3 now what is the general term of this arithmetic progression a1 plus n minus 1 into d what is a1 a1 is 2 and n minus 1 into d d is 3 so the answer is
3n minus 1. So this is the general term of arithmetic progression. Now what is the general term of harmonic progression? By formula, hn is equal to 1 over a n. But we know a n is 3n minus 1. So this means hn is equal to 1 over 3n minus 1. Minus 1. The inner term of arithmetic progression is 3n minus 1. So inner term of harmonic progression is 1 over 3n minus 1. In a term of harmonic progression. So put n is equal to 9 in this one. So h9 is equal to 1 over 3 multiply 9 minus 1. This implies h9 is 1 over 26. So this is the ninth term of this sequence h9. h9 is 1 over 26. The next example is find the next three terms of this sequence. This is the first term, this is the second term and this one is the third term. Now we are to find the fourth term, the fifth term and the sixth term. Now these are required. So first of all we will find the general term. So let's take this harmonic sequence or harmonic progression. Harmonic sequence is 1 over 3. We will write this as 1 over 1 and this minus 1 is 1 over minus 1. So if we divide 1 by 1, we are getting 1 and if we divide 1 divided by minus 1, so we are getting minus 1. So what are the next term? Now these are the denominators 3, 1, minus 1. So these are the denominators and these form the arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence. So arithmetic sequence is 3, 1, minus 1 and so on. So what is the first term? First term of arithmetic uh, sequence is 3 and what is D? So if we are subtracting first term from the second term and second term from the third term in both the cases we are getting minus 2. So this means D is minus 2. And what is the general term of this arithmetic progression? A n is equal to A1 plus n minus 1 into D. What is A1? A1 is 3 and plus n minus 1 into D. And 3 minus 2 n and plus 2. So this means 5 minus 2 n is the general term of arithmetic progression. But so what will be the general term of harmonic progression? H n 1 over A n. H n A n is 5 minus 2 n. Now we are finding the next three terms. From this H n is equal to 1 over 5 minus 2 n. So this is the general term of uh, this harmonic sequence, this given harmonic sequence. So put n is equal to 4. So H 4 is equal to 1 over 5 minus 2 multiply 4. So this means minus 1 divided by 3. And put n is equal to 5. So in this formula, so H 5 is equal to 1 over 5 minus 2 multiply 5. So this means minus 1 over 5. And put n is equal to 6. So we are getting H 6. Put n is equal to 6. So 1 over 5 minus 2 into 6. This means minus 1 divided by 7. So these are the next three terms of this given harmonic sequence.